everyone, welcome to our video tutorial this week. My name is Kunli Adepoju. We want to thank you for always liking our videos. Thank you for always commenting on our videos. Thank you for always sharing our videos with those who are in need of it all around you. I will most thank you also for subscribing to our YouTube channel. This week we want to uh, discuss a very peculiar topic and um, this is how is it actually possible for you to grade from your camera is it actually possible for you to do color grading from your camera this is what we are looking at this week let's go i would like to go into film production i would like to be a movie star mm. yeah i want to be behind the camera to know how it is really done that's good then but i don't know how to go about it i don't know if you Heard the word mefa, mefa. I don't know. Not, not six. That six in the room. Okay, I was about to ask. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That is just an acronym for Medrams Film Academy. Hello. I'm Chris Oriolu, and I'm a student at Mefa. My name is a Student of Mefa. Je suis Joël Rosso. Je suis à Medrams Film Academy, Mefa. I am Omotosho Tamlola Oduwashio. Hola, li kontimida yo Joseph. My name is Babati Mayipes. This is where we are learning about film production. This is a very good school for aspiring cinematographers. My family is Medrum Film Academy, and then everything you need to learn about filmmaking, you can learn here. This is a place of transformation where I am transiting into a professional filmmaker. It's a place where we learn much more about theories and practicals about how people make films. The training for this time is going to be six months. The classes will be running on Mondays and Tuesdays of every week for the next six months. You can call the number on the screen or you can send a WhatsApp message to the number. Thank you, we'll be expecting you and we'll be glad to welcome you to greatness as we are part of those that will be trained in MEFA this year. Thank you, God bless you. Is it possible to color grade on your camera? Is it possible to color grade your picture from your camera? Uh, we're taking our examples from uh, DSLR cameras. First, let's look into what is color grading uh, all about. What is color grading all about? What color grading is all about is for you to give priority to certain colors, to certain colors in your picture. Uh, you and all of us understand from the uh, study of our camera that we have RGB in our cameras and this is the, RGB, this is the colors that form your white balancing in your camera and then when you are now giving a priority to some certain colors in your pictures that is what uh, you are doing when you grade your picture when you now give priority to certain colors in your pictures that is what you are doing when you actually color grading your picture and we are looking at can this actually be done from your camera before you even get to post. Can you actually do a little bit of these things on your camera? That's what we are looking at, uh, checking our DSLR out today. For you to color grade, for you to color grade on your camera, this is what you need to do. What you need to do is to do two level white balancing on your camera. What you need to do is to do two level white balancing on your camera. How do you do two level white balancing on your camera? First, let me open your eyes. Let me remind you that we've actually talked about white balancing in some of our video tutorials in the past. We've actually talked about for you to white balance your camera. What you are actually doing is giving, getting all colors in your camera in equal proportion. All colors in your camera in equal proportion. Your red is, is in the same proportion with your blue, and your blue is in the same proportion with your green. So your RGB is in the same proportion. That is when you are saying you are white balancing your picture. Now, if you now understand that uh, white balancing your picture is getting all, all colors in equal proportion, then for you to now color grade is when you are now giving priority to a particular color or some colors in this RGB and that is what makes the difference in your picture. Getting good looks in your picture varies from one producer to another producer, varies from one uh, filmmaker to another filmmaker. Some people can prefer to have their pictures look brownish, some people prefer to have their picture look uh, bluish, some people prefer to have their picture look warm. Different kind of feel, uh, different people want. So, and this is what determines what you are going to give priority to when you want to color grade with your camera. 
apart from the fact that you understand the certain exposure that your camera will be just like we explained last week you have already gotten your high res in a proper proper placing you have already gotten your shutter speed in a proper placing you have already gotten your iso in a proper placing then you also need to do two level white balancing these two level white balancing will make you to first do white balance setup do your white balance setup and at the same time you will now do custom white balancing the very first level of white balance you need to do for you to color grade your picture is your white balance setup it's either you are going to choose curving white balance you're going to choose uh, uh, daylight white balance you are going to choose uh, uh, tungsten white balance you are going to choose fluorescent white balance but most times when you want to do a good color grading on your picture i would advise i will encourage you to use kelvin white balance this is an option that can help you to manipulate the temperature of your camera it's a very good option for you to manipulate the temperature of your camera but if your camera don't have uh, uh, Kelvin white balance I'm sorry you might not be able to do that but if you are working with a camera with Kelvin white balance definitely you will be able to adjust or manipulate the temperature of your camera and this is the first level of the white balance setup you need to do if you want to color grade your picture now the second level of white balance you need to do is the custom white balancing this is the white balance you have to get into in your camera to choose the color you want to put on priority this is the level you will go in your camera to choose the color you want to put in priority some of these are cameras have it as gamma as um, different kind of colors they put on it but in most cases it, these colors are separated on a graph these colors are separated on a graph we have the we have the red we have the green we have the magenta and then we have the the blue so it's it, we have it, it's in four levels we have the red we have the green we have the magenta and then we have the blue the blue and the magenta so whichever which of these colors you put into priority we dominate your picture you can also manipulate by adding some uh, by, uh, by making some to be more than the other and by removing some and then leave another one. So by adjusting this, you'll be able to achieve what is called a bit of color grading in your camera. Let's do a bit of this practice uh, with our camera. You can use the score to move. This is on zero, zero. You can go to gray, add more gray to your picture, or you can come down to magenta, add more magenta to your picture, or you can come to red add more red to your picture and then you can come to uh, blue add more blue to your picture and you can decide to mix those colors so the mixing of those colors will determine what your look the look of your image will be so you can mix from this end or you mix from this end or you uh, uh, you or you mix the green and the red together so mix the green and the red together we have uh, a5 and we have g3 so you can decide to move like that the same thing with this other so wherever the cursor is will determine the look that you will have and you can to put you can decide to put it on zero zero if you put it on zero zero it actually means that you leave the color grading for the post uh, naturally as a, as a cinematographer i've been able to do this with some of the films i've shot I've been able to do this with some of the films I shot. Instead of uh, me thinking of um, going back to the post-production for me to do color grading, I decided to work on the feel that I want from my camera. And I was able to get it. And this is what I did on my camera. What are the cameras that can allow you to do this kind of color grading on them? Uh, personally, practically, I've been able to practice this, uh, this color grading on DSLR cameras, most especially those cameras that have uh, Kelvin white balance and those cameras that have these two level white balancing. Some cameras don't have this two level white balancing. If you have a camera that does not have a two level white balancing, you might not be able to practice what I am talking about in your camera. So if you have a camera that have these two level white balancing, you'll be able to practice it. Take for example, like the camera standing right in front of me here. This camera has a two level white balancing, is able to achieve what I want to do. Now, all you need to do is to go to the white balance setup of your camera, white balance setup of your camera. And after the white balance, it has um, 
white balance shift or white balance bracket. It calls it on this 7D like this, it calls it white balance shift or white balance bracket. So if you click on the white balance sheet or white balance bracket, it's going to give you, uh, it's, this camera is going to give you the graph of the colors that are in your camera. Now, the one that you now want to make as the priority color is what you will have to shift the cursor to. The one you want to make as a priority is the one you have to shift the cursor to. For example, now this one has been shifted to 9. So you can shift the color to the one you want to make as a priority. You can shift it to whatever. So the, 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 the cursor is in the middle here. So you can begin to shift the cursor to whichever level you want it to be. Since you have the blue, you have the red, you have the gray, and you have the magenta. So whichever color you want to, uh, you want to make as a priority is what you are going to shift the cursor to. So when you now shift the cursor, the level at which the cursor is will determine how much of the colors that you are putting into priority will affect the feel of your film. Now, for you to grade your picture from your camera, you need to understand color mixing. You actually need to understand color mixing. Now, if you don't understand how to mix colors together, you will not know the result the colors will give you. For example, the mixture of blue and green will give you a particular color. And then if you don't understand the colors that this mixture of green and blue will give you, you might eventually fumble with whatever you want to do. So you need to understand. And then if you don't really understand what the colors will, the mixing of the colors will give you, the best thing you should do, the best thing you should do is to do it and check your picture. Do it and check your picture until you are able to get your desired result. Take, for example, you want to shoot a commercial video for a company that has uh, their logo to be red or their, their dominant color to be red. So what you need to do in, in shooting a commercial for such video, uh, for such company, is to make the, your color feel, is to make the feel of your colors to be more of red than any other color. So by making the feel of your, of, your, of your picture to be more of red than any other color, automatically you have customized that video for such company. Take, for example, you can watch Glow Advert. By just me watching a Glow, Glow Advert, you know that this advert is Glow Advert because you can see the feel of their color in whatever video you are watching. You are watching an MTM video. From watching that MTM video, you already know that this is an MTM video because of the feel in the video. So you can also do the same if you, are, if you are working on this particular project and you don't want to go, get to post before you do the work. You don't want to get to post before you do the grading. You can adjust the second level. You can adjust these two level white balancing in your camera. If these two level white balancing are manipulated correctly, you will get a good color grading. You will get a good film look on your picture. Thank you for watching our video tutorial this week and I hope you've enjoyed today's class. Uh, we hope to see you next week for another video tutorials. My name is Kunli Adepoju. God bless you.